And we're live, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Operation Farmer's Fate. So they have potential problems. You like that, Jack Reynolds? Anyway, my name's Muff. This is Squad Ops. It's a One Life event. We're going to be running Operation Farmer's Fate tonight on the lovely map of Kokon. This is the Assault and Secure version 1 variation of the map, which is really cool. It's kind of a dusky, cloudy, overcast day that uh, puts a little haze in the air, so it's hard to see really, really far, but it's going to be a fun map. Anyway, the objective of this is the U.S. are going to pick a location. They get four predetermined locations. Looks like they've chosen the petrol station. They're going to set up a fob there, and they get a Logi truck that can run as many supplies as they need, but it must be uh, escorted by a Humvee, which should allow for a good one or two runs at least. And, and they're actually going to start there. You'll see them start shuttling up to this petrol station soon. While the insurgents will be starting at their main. They also get to place a fob, which actually gets to go right here in Echo 2, keypad 2, or over here in Bravo 3, keypad 9. So that's those two. And all they get to do with that is build a repair station or resupply for vehicles. That's it. That's all they get to do so that their vehicles can just keep raining rockets or dish get shots or whatever they want. Whatever they want, they can they can do. They get four techies and an arty techie to do whatever they want. So they're going to have a lot of vehicles running around. Uh, we can look for the U.S. mortars to be shooting at them, trying to keep them mobile instead of giving them good positions. I can see the U.S. They're starting to mob out. Got a couple of foot soldiers. Not quite enough for the big guys. Oh, okay. It's like Big Yes and NATO and, and S. Klein are going to wait. They might start walking a little bit, but they're going to be a little bit. Um, let's go. I'm going to I'm going to go over the commands real quick here, because I haven't even looked yet. I just know that the command for the U.S. side is Tedish. Uh, I don't know if he's commanded before, so this would be cool to see. I'm just going to head up and beat him up here. Copy. In the petrol station. And then, then you will be able to look. First down view of this get a first hand view of Tedish heading into petrol. All right, let's look here. He is, in fact, the commander for the U.S. He's got himself as squad leaders Hammered Hebrew, Satan, and Shadowed Ritual. All three have experience commanding or squad leading. Definitely squad leading. I'm going to jump over to the other side, who is being commanded by none other than Xbit. Experienced commander, definitely. I'll go pick those guys up. Sorry, I'm writing these down so I don't forget them. Uh, he's got CMYK Matter, Truth Realm, Best Pony, and Krusty the Sailor. Gonna be his squad leaders. All have experience, so we've got a good group of experience in here. And this is gonna be a good one. There's always a lot of a lot of quietness early on in Kokon because it's a big open map, and once your location is given away, it's pretty easy to follow you. Nine, two and three, be, uh, you're but free to build whatever you need to. once action starts going, Just, uh, it's gonna be going. It's gonna be nonstop until the end. Uh, it's always cool. Three, we usually see really good matches on Kokan. I don't know why the map does it. But it's great yeah. for these one life events. You have to be able to walk through it unobstructed. Nah, what else can I go through here? I'm gonna go through our cameras. That's a good one. Good one to go through the. Just wait a couple more. All right, our cameras are myself. We have Xbit, who is the commander for the insurgents this round. We have got the Silver Man. Vehicles. He's gunning. He's going to be a killer soldier. We have ourselves a squad leader for the insurgents named Krusty the Sailor. Always fun watching him. He's, he loves leading from the front. I love watching him play. Our next camera is Truth Realm. He's also a squad leader for the insurgents. I love it how we get a bunch of squad leaders that, that do the camera. You're Pen's not feeding me lines at all, man. Get that extra round, Bravo yep. Pen just tells me what camera we're on sometimes. I'm a free-flowing river, man. I'm a waterfall. 
Next is Tedish, command for the U.S. What I'm doing is just giving, giving a couple seconds so you guys can all get a look at their camera between switches here. After Tedish is another squad leader named Shadowed Ritual. He's going to be a U.S. Forces squad leader, I believe. Am I right? Yeah. Next up is Jay Remick. I don't know what team he's on, but he is pretty good. You're probably going to see him running a, a Grenadier. Does this go around? I, I don't know. That's my guess. He likes it. He's pretty good with it. Um, last but not least, best pony squad leader for the Insurgents. Live 133. Live in a minute. 133, copy. And then We're going to uh, roll into your squad command. Um, the other side only. Oh, actually, we don't get. There are no the GLs in this one. So we're good. Let's see. Live in a minute. Live at 133. Yep, one minute. So we're good to go. I got everything out of the way. The insurgents will start up north. I can see them way up there. The U.S. accidentally rolled their. I hope the transport vehicle. Yep, transport vehicle. So that's not a big deal to them. Be sure to, I'm gonna put the, uh, you know what, Firebat, the there is a woman in here. There is a woman. Let me see if I can find her. Sounds good. Right there, Odessa. She's in squad three. They are expendables. Their squad leader is, in fact, Hammered Hebrew, and there's Odessa right there. Let's see if she tucked her hair up in her helmet. Yes, she did, and she has got some sweet sunglasses. Looks like she grew a little stubble for this mission and got a saw to make her fit in with the boys. All right, we're live. And be careful, because she could be savage. Three, get she's the she's not a dainty, get the out here. squeaky girl board gamer. Board She'll get shit board. done. She's squad-led before, so she knows what she's doing. Um, And we're live. We are live. We've been live for 20 seconds. And you can see the techies are rolling out to the north. The U.S. are mainly... Look at that. That is Shattered Ritual taking his squad to the Western Front. You know, they could most most likely be positioning for an ambush or decoy. And there's a lot of different things. A lot of different things. In the meantime, it looks like the techies are on a scout mission. We got Game Master Me and Empty. Going to run right into the techie there in the wide open road. Here comes the techie. And the techie is shooting. They've gotten out. Game Master Me. Empty took a shot. Game Master Me is lighting him up. I don't know if he's hitting anything. I'm making through. Stand by under fire. And we're all right, we've had our first contact up to the north. We are definitely going to see them coming in. Well, that's good. It yeah. appears that they're going to drop their FOB way off to the west. Way off in the Where Bravo 3 yeah, keypad 9 contact. location. Yeah, I see a right, lot of guys over there. Under the north. Game Master Me and Empty. Oh, Empty's down. So are. Empty is the first casualty. The poor guy. He's down. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. But Game Master Me's still alive. Looking at him, he's probably got a heart rate of about 115 beats per minute. Definitely not the best way to start the game. Doesn't even get any time to think. Or they get shot at. But they know where the enemy's at, to the north. The worst thing is, though, east. with the insurgents, no, they're there. It's going to give the insurgents a lot of time to catch well, up, Bravo, get down there, and start in the, some uh, sort of aggressive push. <clears throat> Do you need alpha? alpha? All right, here comes the techie and truth realm squad. They're going to be pushing to the south. Oh, where'd, where'd he go? There's Game Master Me. He's fallen back. Fell back quite a ways. He's going to make it all the way back. I bet he makes it safely. Here comes that, the creeping techie. Nice and slow. We got Gangrel rocking the gunner's seat. We got Fig driving. Oh, isn't that cute? They all changed their names yeah. to Bravo. <laughs> One more person. Please tell me negative. Copy that. Negative. And then there's the, that's their fire team. And then there's Alpha. They have a fire team, Alpha. It's a bit extreme, but, right, but hey, whatever works helps them recognize each other. Large element with techie. Just in case there's some dude with an IED. 
Oh wait, we're the only dudes with IEDs, never mind. <laughs> Alright, looks like Satan over to the west has spotted the technical. They see him over there. Echo, yeah, basically there. Been the compound to itself. Alright, so to be aware, we we'll slowly see Truth Realm squad pushing from the north. Shadowed Ritual and Satan are both off. Uh, maybe, maybe just set Shadowed Ritual. Yep. Uh, Alright, Shadowed Ritual is. Sees Techies in the market, so he's calling him out. Satan's seen the one to the north. Alright, Tedish is giving him the orders to stay hidden if they can. Are we clear to no. ambush these the they compound? might not have a choice here. If, you, if it's a juicy enough target, go for it. Oh, we might get to see a good little cute rocket come flying in on Ram and the silliest goose. Oh my gosh, Stray Dog is right there. You know he hears it. He's not moving. Right, no so one's moving. He's going to open up if they engage us. Techie coming in. In the meantime, Truth Realm is getting real gutsy up to the north uh, of the petrol. Maybe the techie they've left the... the bridge that, uh, they're letting the Techie sit back. I'm sure they see that burning techie, transport. Techie it's a fuel. dead giveaway that they're there. Uh, north, north, Copy. Truth Realm's on the far yeah, eastern hill. Really, really exposing himself if he gets seen. He's got nowhere to run. Already going out. Audible on, yeah. Audible on. Command. Lots yeah. of U.S. soldiers up on the roofs, spread out. They're all looking north for the most part. Gonna take some heavy duty sneaking yeah, from the through, insurgents um, on the north side. Two and three, if you guys see your your weapons free, what one you're just tight. Two and three are open fire, yeah. yeah. We believe this is the rocket ticky over us right now, uh preparing to aim. We're gonna wait for it to fire and then we're gonna try and engage it. Get down anymore, just get away, get away. Get off oh, the Oh gosh, it's too it's Best Pony Squad has got an ambush on the lodgy and the go prone and get in the vegetation. In the Humvee, so here we go. They're gonna come running right into him. They took Techie all the way around to the south. In an attempt to get the ambush on this. And you know what they've got? They've got a scout and two lats. So there is a very good Three, chance yeah, that there's an anti-tank mine just sucks. sitting in the middle of this road I'm somewhere. Not to mention south. an IED. Contact and here they south. come. Someone buried mine. Uh, mine Copy is buried enough. Try to just engage. Okay. Rear techie, yeah, watch, that watch your ass. Enemy squad. Get that home in here. I'm going to follow it. And push out this way. We just lost our dish, techie. Here we go. Oh. Let's see if they shoot or if they're going to wait. Looks like they're waiting. Oh, there's the anti-tank mine. Humvee down. That's going to hurt. All right, good kills, good kills. Kill. Humvee down, but just struck down. Ambush complete. Lodgy down. Well, good kills, goodbye, good kills. U.S. supply run. They're techie, right. or they're lodgy. There's no vehicles. Ahead. U.S. are out of vehicles. They are now an on-foot force. Yeah, it looks like Great flank awesome, and, and work by Best yep. Pony Squad. They dropped that anti-tank mine with their scout kit. They had the lats they ready and just lit up that Lodgy truck. That was beautiful. Well executed. Yeah, bots and science. We had contact early on. It was crazy. Uh, we got engaged. I lost one in there, but we were able to disable the... Uh, Here comes the, the rocket, Artie. A little bit long. Alright, see if you can give us locations. We got a mortar up and start hitting Seemed them. a little long. Here comes a replay for the the Humvee and the Logic and Tate. Uh, man, we have eyes on where that uh, techie is firing from. Oh, there's the anti-tank the mine. Humvee down. That's gonna All hurt. All right, good kill, good kill. Humvee yeah. down. The just struck down. Ambush complete. Logic yeah. down. Get up there, it is. We can we can follow the smoke trails back. We don't have direct eyes on it. Can uh. Excellent work. Just one, two, big one, two. Anti-tank mine and rockets right into the Lodgy, put it in its place. We're back on me, looking north. I can hear some contact out to the west. No, that's uh, Squad 1, that's Shadowed Ritual Squad. They are getting surrounded. Here come more Artie. Let's see how accurate they are. Still a little bit far. They'll walk that in. What's our contact for it? Where are they coming in from? Tedish is asking where the contact's coming from. Those already shots are, they're getting closer. 
Oh yeah, they're hitting the compound now. We're gonna see those U.S. soldiers start scrambling for buildings. Man, we gotta break contact. Man, for Tedish just took a hit. He's bandaging over there. There's at least a, Copy, an enemy great. squad chasing us from the uh, southwest. All right, we we have a mortar on the way out. If you can let us know how that lands. Copy. Oh, All right, mortars flew. Looks seconds. like they're heading north. Shadowed Ritual is gonna see if he can't get a, a view on where those mortars hit. I really don't know where they're going. They shot him for them. Ooh. X bitches team killed Fig on accident. All right, their mortars were a little south. The mortar. And here comes more rocket arty. They got it dialed in, looks like. Here they come. A little bit short that time. You can see the U.S. firing north. Lots of them looking north. In fact, all of them are looking north. That's where they're going to run into trouble because Best Pony Squad is still to the south. And they've got, you know, everything, basically, including a technical. They fired one rocket and used one anti-tank mine. They're smoking out. They're smoking out. More Here rockets comes coming. some more. This artillery is uh, not going to stop. They are going to rain it in. Let's take a look at the, the kills quick. Two to five, so the insurgents are, are putting work in. The big hit, though, was that Logi truck and the Humvee that they got early on. You're gonna really, you're gonna see the U.S. be very conservative with those mortars. They, they've only got that much now. Here comes more rocket techie fire. Yeah, that's just not gonna stop. There, that's gonna keep them completely in the buildings. Oh, getting close. Those are good shots. Shaking my screen really good. Oh, Odessa had two land right by her. Look, she's in that building. Gosh, the whole sh screen is shaking. All right, there's a techie off to the west. That's the silliest goose. He's firing. There's a techie to the south. That's Best Pony's whole squad. They're firing from the south. Not to mention Artie fire. Unrelenting. There's, there's another one, another techie up north somewhere. Whew. Look at that, though. Shadowed Ritual Squad, they're heading in. They're going to go get dirty. Yeah, Take out that techie. Got that would be fucking great. We got eyes on it. We got eyes on it. Ted is just saying, take out that goddamn Arty truck. Google Treks, tonight command is Tedish for the U.S. and yeah, yeah, x is for the insurgents. And here we go. We're going to see Shadowed Ritual come up, and he's going to freaking poke poor x and kill the shit out of him. That Arty truck might get taken out. It will right, at least be disabled for the second here. Let's see if they shoot him in the back of the head. Oh, Stray Dog's got the shot. Any last words, x -Bit? He says, nope. He's like, fire the... Oh, and he's dead. One little one tap. Uh, enemy, uh, uh, rocket techie down. Rocket techie down. Can't hear me. Why can't they hear me? Nice you sure you can't hear me? Nice, about time. Call out for, uh, fire missions for this mortar. Too much gunshots and explosions going off to hear me. Well, there, there we go. The U.S. paid them back, got the Artie truck disabled, and now they have a flank on the insurgents. That's good. That's good. Yep. I, I think I'm good. We're good. We're good. All right. So now, down here, this is. Well, it was Truth Realm squad. I think Truth Realm went down. So they're they're on the north side. They've got a squad to their north to worry about. Here's the Alamo. This is this is what the U.S. doesn't like. They've got crisscrossing technical fire coming from the south and the west. Copy. Who did we lose? Oh, we lost Waifu. Now they're doing a good job of keeping all the insurgents at a distance, but as soon as they close that gap, it's going to get real hard. Those the U.S. soldiers are going to be running around covering two angles each. It's going to be crazy. Oh, now they they got three different tracers coming, so they. Uh, yeah, definitely got to worry about a little bit. Let's look at the kills. Five to five. So we're really close, actually. How's contact looking on the north side? Ted is asking how contact is up north. Shadowed Ritual is way up there, though, so they got a lot of lot of ways to go. Before anything good, Just big tank, happens yeah. there. The 
technicals are south. Yeah. Gosh, the, the techies are just laying down everything, keeping the U.S. from poking their heads out even a little bit. But you know what they're doing? They have got every hole. They got a guy on the mortar. They're watching every entrance. There's Odessa slinging some lead back into the river. Whole squad's on the west side here. Satan's got his guys looking west south. They're covering doors. They're covering murder holes. They're covering holes in walls. They're they're just waiting. It's all they can do. They're so surrounded right now, and I think they know it. With all the tracers flying by. And they're moving in from the south. Here they come. Let's see what Tedish does. Tedish takes out Best Pony. Quick little one tap. Incoming grenade says Tedish or sniper or something. Where Tedish go? He's falling back. One's getting healed. Tedish is turning the mortar. He's turning the mortar to get the shots on. He's going to shoot him real. Oh, yeah. He's aiming it up. He's going to shoot him real close. What else we got going? A couple guys sneaking in from the north. There's Hitchens on the west side. Hyper Evo and CMYK Matter coming from the west as well. Demines right at the southern wall. Silverman southern wall. Noble Six is pushing in. Dermoplast. He's he's injured, but he's laying there prone on this west side of the road. There, Tedish popping off some mortars, just trying to get dirty with them. Let's see where they land. Silverman, meantime, just right outside the wall there. We are going to see some mortars hit darn close here. You know, I'm hearing a lot of M4 fire, a lot less AK fire than I would expect right now. Look at all those smoke grenades. All right, we got to see those mortars land any second here. Oh, they were way too far, looks like. Oh, Krusty's pushing in from the west with his squad. There's two, four of them there, five of them on the outside. Hyper Evo just got taken out. Chocolate's on the south side. Hitchens goes down. Krusty goes down. The U.S. have got this thing on lockdown. There's not a corner the insurgents can come in that the U.S. aren't watching. They've got sandbags in the right spots. They've got their guys positioned really well. You know, and look at this, the insurgents. There's insurgents on the east. They took down Big Yes on the east side. This east side is going to be the dangerous part now. It's got one, two, three, four insurgents on the east. Wild Cucumber on the north side. There's only Matrix and Matter on the west. And they are getting chased away. South side's got Noble Six. The bar is way south. Sober Pud is down there in the techie. Oh, that must have been a hell of a grenade right there. Somebody went down, I think. Two dudes are dead right there. Oh, I'm sad I missed that grenade. Let's look at the kills. U.S. 18 to 11. So good, good rebound by the U.S. here to just hold it, hold the line. And I mean, this is what I see is discipline. They're all just holding their assigned locations. They're not getting greedy and rushing out after everybody. Maybe one or two of them did, but for the most part, you know, they're holding the line. There's CMYK Matter. Shooting down. Oh, he's got sights on Odessa. And he's down. Someone yeah, got him. Looks like it was more eats kids through the murder hole. Yeah, right there. So more smoke grenades coming in from the south. Rockets being fired. That was a like good place to rocket. There was just no one there to, hit, to get hit by it. Look at that. They've got the two techies. There's three techies to the south and nobody's in them. It's like Silius Goose is right there. He's trying to, he's get. he's in now. Maybe start shooting back. There's that one, that one, and then they got this one right here too. So pretty rough, rough. It, you know, I don't know what could have helped the insurgents. Maybe they just needed to rush a little quicker or maybe smoke placement. I don't know. That arty techie getting taken out really, really hurt. They took away all of their killer suppression. Now we've got Tedish and Sneaky Sniper. Basically toe to toe with handsome sightless and Kahuna. Now it's all Kahuna by himself. He comes in, no one to kill. Sneaky sniper actually got hit and he's bandaging. Kahuna says, "Nope, going the other way. Not worth it. Too many razor wires in that building and not worth it." Yeah, they got him. They're at 12 to 22. The U.S. have just turned this around. It was really looking bad for them. Let me see if I can get rid of these fire plants. That's ah, hard. Can't really do it. 
I like being able to see their names. Fall back to my boat. All right, Teddy's just telling everyone to fall back or somebody. He's, I heard him in local. How can I Build more sandbags. I got a little bit of supplies. Yeah, the commander himself holding the uh, holding the door. Oh, that was an IED right there, I bet. Heck of an explosion. Odessa's down. Took her out. Good IED. Snuck up there and dropped it and snuck away and blew it. There, Kahuna goes down. Kahuna's down by Tedish. Good job by him. Let's take a look. We got Noble Six, Sober Pud on the south, as well as the Silius Goose and Sabari. Who are all currently getting yeah, flanked by Shadowed Ritual Squad, who has done a great job of roaming. They've been a great quick reaction force, moving around, getting things done. You know, not a whole lot left for anybody. Silly Goose goes down from his south. Jenga Master is going to be pushing up on Zabari, who is prone in the field. So it's going to be hard for him to see him. Juan Tap, man, just takes out Silver Pud and Noble Six. Him and Stray Dog just got the flank. We are down to one man. Last man standing named Zabari. I'm positive. He's the last guy. Look at all the fireflies around him. And Jenga Master is going to walk up on him. And he's dead. That's a good game. U.S. held the line. What a what a match. That was quick. That felt quick. All right, I'm going to do a quick look around. I'm pretty sure that's a good game. I'm going to call it. That's it. That's Apparently, match. Shit. Nice work, guys. I see nobody. That was a good round one. How long did that take? Good job, guys. That was. I don't see the the round timer on the stream, but we went live at 33. That was and it's at 12. That was a 20 minute round. That was crazy. It's crazy. That was just action everywhere. It's, in comes the techie, takes a couple out. Next thing you know, the Humvee and the Lodgy are down. And then way up north is Shadowed Ritual Squad taking out the artillery techie. It was just, where can we hurt them the most? And they both did it to each other. And the U.S. were able to Alamo and hold it down. They are very pleased with their performance, as you can tell from all the gunshots going on. They went full auto for this one. But that was round one, Operation Farmer's Fate. You know, I don't know who the farmers are in this one, though. That's a, you know, that's we're gonna have to figure that one out. If they're, they're farming bodies, then it was the U.S. or the farmers. But oh, there's the anti-tank line. Humvee down. That's All right, hurt, good so kills, good kills. Kill. Humvee down. Know, just the fate down. is the fate. Ambush complete. Logi down. Lock up on him. With that, we well, first of all, big. Big and he's dead. That's a good game. Both of our commanders and all their squad like leaders, especially the sailor, CMYK Matter, Best Pony, Truth Realm. Oh, Never there's the anti-tank line. Ritual. Humpy down. That's going to hurt. All right, good kill. We're going to switch kill. teams. Humpy We're going to come back. We're going to do it down. again. Ambush we almost Logi always see them pick on him. different locations for their and bosses. And he's dead. That's a good game. And we'll roll the map. We'll be right back. Go take a quick break. Even though we don't really need one, that was the quickest round, full round of actual play. That was awesome. Uh, if you like it, check us out at squadops.gg. Join the Discord. Say hi to everybody. The map's rolling. Yes, and, then, uh, and we'll see you guys in a, in a few minutes. Let's, let's look at the kills real quick. Let's see if anyone did an awesome job killing. Tedish got four. Commander taken down four. Most kills by anybody. So good job. Leading by example. That's how it's done. All right. We're going to switch teams. We'll brief again. Uh, we'll probably just keep the stream rolling while I go mute for a minute. And we'll see you guys in a minute.